The video you're about to watch is a preview of my online courses on fashion designing. If you want to find out more about it, click the link below. Here we go. Hello again. Welcome back. In the last class, I mentioned that I'd be going back and forth between pattern making and draping. Now, this is not a draping class, but you remember I mentioned, or I, I asked the question, how do you take a two-dimensional piece of paper or fabric and turn it into a three-dimensional shape? Well, I'm going to show you. So this is a dress form, not to be confused with a mannequin, because a mannequin is what you see in the window of a store for display purposes. This is a dress form. A dress form in the industry is used to drape, for draping purposes, obviously, and for fitting purposes. All these seams here have a name. So let's, let's get familiar with some of these new terminology. For example, this center uh, seam here in the front is called center front. This here is a princess line or princess seam. It goes from the shoulder across the bust to the waistline. We have a sight seam, um, a shoulder seam, we have a neckline and a waistline. The bottom of the tape, the bottom of the tape, not the middle, not the top, but the bottom of the tape is the waistline. And then the center of the bust is called the apex. It's very important to know where the center is because everything comes from the apex. Um, you'll see in the next session how I'm going to show you certain pivoting principles and techniques and the apex is really important in that. I have taken a piece of muslin and I've pinned it on the form. I have a pencil mark across it, kind of dividing it in half and it's across the apex and it's straight across, it's parallel to the floor. This is a straight across line, parallel to the floor. I've pinned it, and now again, this is not a draping class, so I'm not gonna spend time showing you how to drape this, but it, in 30 seconds, I'm gonna show you an, a concept on how to take a two-dimensional piece of fabric, and you see this extra fabric right here, this extra fullness? Well, I'm going to pinch it, and fold it to create a dart. And I'll do the same thing with the top portion. See this extra fullness right here? Well, I'm going to fold it. I'm gonna pinch it and fold it down like this so that I can create a dart. For those of you who don't know what a dart is, I will explain that soon enough. But you can see that it's beginning to take shape. Now we have some kind of a shape to it. Now this is, these are darts, but they could be tucks or pleats or shirring and so on. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Now at this point I would mark it, I would take a pencil and mark all the information necessary that I would take and transfer it to dotted paper. Okay, so I have marked my muslin with a pencil. I put certain cross marks on my muslin, my sight seam, my waistline, neckline, etc. And I've pinned my darts temporarily. So you can see there's a certain shape to it. Now I'm going to remove this muslin, remove the pins. You can see there's a certain three-dimensional shape to it. And now I'm going to remove all the pins and when it's all said and done, my muslin now with all the proper markings looks like this. See these markings indicating the shoulder dart, the apex, waistline dart, and so on. And the next step is to take this onto dotted paper. In the next class, I'm gonna show you how to take this muslin drape onto dotted paper, onto manila, 
and then using that as a sloper to manipulate our patterns. Okay? See you next class. So, if you want to find out more about it, click the link below. See ya.